Okay, I think we're good. Are we live? I think we are, baby. Oof. Let me get this post rocking out and we'll get cracking. Bear with me, guys. You know the drill. Right, how are we doing, guys? Fuck you, can you hear me all right? Okay, I'm going to get a community post rolled out. And we're going to get cracking. I think the podcast upset out as well. We good? Nope. Bear with me, guys. You know the drill. We can get into some good chat, Pawn. I see you, Nathaniel. I see you. Listen, <laughs> listen, I'll hold the L. I'll hold the L. But before we do that, before we do that, I'm I'm just rolling the community first out. You guys can cook me. You can cook me in a minute, all right? You can cook me in a minute. Bear with me, guys. You know how it is. Cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Listen, I'm down to be. <laughs> listen, listen, shut up. Might, might I remind you? Yeah. Might I remind you that I also predicted Max Holloway to win. So I'm not completely stupid. All right. Leave me alone. All right. Jamal Hill is still pretty good. He's a great striker too. Pereira caught him with a beautiful shot. That's the game, man. Fair play. Listen. I would never doubt out Alex Pereira. He's one of the most dangerous men in the UFC. I just thought Jamal Hill would get it done. That's the fight game. Worst prediction I've ever seen. I think that's a bit harsh, man. Yeah, 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 Dwayne. Listen. Shush. <laughs> Easiest UFC event to predict? Nah, man. No way. Bo Nickel was easier to predict than that. <clears throat> like, yeah, he, he got a beautiful caught, caught with a beautiful shot, and that was it. It looked like he made it look easy. He did. But. You know, it's it's one of those. That's the that's a big sort of problem I have with KOs like that. And that's no disrespect to Pereira because it was beautiful, perfect shot. But it almost doesn't answer a lot of questions about who's the better fighter in some ways. I know that sounds. I'm playing devil's advocate a little bit. But you think John Jones versus Cyril Garn? I don't. I John Jones is obviously a better fight than Cyril Garn, but I wish we saw more of John at heavyweight than we did because the fight was so short. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. Maximus Holloway is a madman. He is indeed, man. I was screaming. Woke up the household with that one. Mahels, what's up, man? What's up? I know, man. I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it. Yeah, sorry for the late stream as well, Blackbeard. Um, literally had some just things I need to deal with for like 20 minutes. So apologies for that. I'll make it up to you. We're going to have a good stream today. Nickel got lucky. If Brind Brundish got off that flying spinning back elbow. I, rate, I said this on the pod. We recorded the podcast earlier today. Um, I'm waiting for Will to just put the thumbnail on and it will be out. But I think he might have fallen asleep because he's like, he's like six hours ahead in Thailand. So um, that might be, end up being out later, later tonight. So I, I, I'm not sure when that'll be. But we talked all, thing, all things 300 on there as well. So if you want my more concise thoughts rather than rambling on a stream, you can hear it on there when that comes out. Stop the coat. Leave it, man. Leave it. <laughs> Listen, I'm a Pereira fan, man. I like him. Uh, I listen. I like both guys. I, I'm not like a. I, I'm not favored towards either dude. It was just my assessment of the fight. I had Jamal Hill winning. That that was it, really. That's the game, man. Fighting art. Good to see you, man. Matthew as well. Listen, you guys. I'll hold the L. I said I, I'd firm the L. I will take the Max Holloway W. I, I will take that one. Prior ten UFC pound for pound king, or at least number two. No. Oh, actually, right now. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I thought you meant like all time. I was like, steady on, man. Thought about removing the word MMA from the channel's name. It'd be a lot cleaner. That's interesting. I I, I, I originally did have it without, actually. But I, I added the MMA in probably like eight, nine months ago. And I haven't got rid of it. I, I, I like it for now because it kind of... It's like an identifier. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe you're right. I probably will take it out at some point. How long do you think Alex will last Tom Aspinall? Yeah, the moment it goes to the ground, it's over. I think you can... I do not understand why Glover Teixeira is giving him his black belt like for knocking a guy out. I never really understood that. But yeah, Tom Aspinall would just be too big for him in my opinion. But again, you can't rule nothing out. It's MMA. It's the craziest sport on earth. Max Holloway proved as such. So you never know. But yeah, I mean, logic would dictate that Tom Aspinall would blast double him and then choke him out. That's probably what I'd say. Two dudes who's 100 on their first leg parlay. Yeah, I, I 
I didn't I didn't bet today or yesterday because it's just it's one I wanted to just enjoy the fights. I wanted to enjoy the spectacle without stressing. So people calling me crazy for picking Max. Yeah, man. I don't I never understood it, man. He, he is he was so quick, so much quicker, and he was always gonna be. And that's something that's so good about Max Holloway is his chin is great, but his movement adds that add put, added with it is why he never gets hit, because he in and out like it's nothing. One, two of me money, while one man certainly was, yeah. Listen. I mean, he didn't even get a chance to get it. Oh, we're frozen. Oh, my God, man. That is a horrendous, horrendous thing to freeze on. Hold on. What is up with this today, man? Crazy. There we go. Oh, fucking hell. I need to sort this out. It's terrible for me. There we go. We're good. Fucking shocking. That was not a flattering image. <laughs> right. The hook was so damn fast. Yeah, man. <sighs> Crazy. I, it was almost like a sort of uppercut, wasn't it, really? Fucking crazy. Everyone in the MMA space had the first three picks wrong. Do you mean from the first three fights or? Max Kerr was crazy. Shit, when they started swinging and trading. Yeah, man, I started screaming. I woke up the house at 6 a.m. So, and I, I would, I have no shame in admitting that. Hill had no reason to be in there with that monster tonight and Pereira coming off such an injury. Yeah, I almost feel for him a little bit because his circumstances were kind of forced. And that's kind of a product of the UFC's bad planning around the event. They didn't have a main event. So we're like, fuck it, take this shit. And that was that, you know. I, I do feel from in that, but how can you doubt Shama go? Disgustful, disgusting, despicable move. Hey, listen, that guy's like burrowed into my soul. In his walkout, that was the first time in all of his walkouts where I felt like he was coming for me, man. I thought he was going to take my soul. Jesus. But yeah, Shama, man. Uh, listen, I, I like Pereira. I like Jamal. I wanted a good fight, and that's what we got. I wanted a good main event to round off a perfect night, really. And, yeah, I wasn't disappointed. It was awesome. Great finish. It was so nonchalant. It was almost like I wasn't ready for it because I, I said this on the pod as well, which will be out. But when you get a moment like that, when the ref steps in, it's kind of like as a fan, it's a moment to like reset and just go, oh, okay, cool. We're just, you mentally subconsciously sort of reset. And then two seconds later, Jamal's on the floor and it's over. And I didn't even react. I, I generally had no reaction because I was like, what the fuck? It's over. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. He Max drew one hell of a H bomb. Yeah, because he planted his feet, man. Beautiful shot. Moicano, money, yeah, money Moicano, the first man. It was just, it had everything. It had the weird, it had the wild, and had it had violence. And that's what we need, man. And it was awesome. Do you think Alex will fight again at 3 1? If Aspen was up for it, I could see it, yeah. Yeah, 11 and 2. Well done on the picks, man. Thanks for the tip of Jamal. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> Listen. I'm not a mystical. I don't claim to be. It was just my educated pick. Or, well, not educated. But I got the Max Holloway pick right, so I don't give a shit. All right? Leave me alone. I'm at Max Holloway. I was once... I, I predicted Holloway by decision. <laughs> so we were one second away from that. Mm. Man, this is good. My sleeping pants fucked. I napped like three hours earlier today because I've been up since... Ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. Ugh. Struggles being a UK fan. Some of you guys will know. Phil plays things smart, and I just told him this on Twitter. <laughs> I'm sure he's taking it. Heel is Achilles, chin and mind. He might even get a tune-up next to be on the right track and probably dust Poatan in a rematch. Listen, I, I, I'd i like to see him on a, on a full camp, 100% optimal. I mean, yeah, Pereira definitely won fair and square, as Blackbeard's saying. But listen, I, I, you could play that fight out again, and it could play completely different because it was so short. You never really know. I think they they both look it looked competitive in that in that that time before as short as it was so I'd like to see it again really but it's on Jamal Hill to not get complacent in that moment in that in that break with the ref he got complacent and he got caught Ariane I'm good man I'm good man I hope you're well I hope you enjoyed last night guess who's Kurt Poatan in the chat we got the real we got the real Alex Pereira in there Alex Aselli was cold yeah it was sick why would the UFC want to end Pereira's career by giving him Tommy I, I don't think it's a case of that. I think Pereira's not got much left in this sport because of his age. And why not chase greatness? I think the USC would be up for it. I think they'd go, fuck it. Let's give you that chance. And if he pulls it off, he's one of the greatest combat sports ever, athletes ever, if he isn't already. People in the Discord said I would lose my 50 on betting on Alex KO. Yeah, but you did, didn't you? Didn't you bet on, 50, on a round three KO? <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Does Oliver have any chance of the belt? Yeah, a, a garden. I think he probably does because, to be honest, a fight like that, as close as it was, his stock's not really gone down. I think it was a very close fight. I did think the right man won. I think Sarukin got got the nod as he should have done. But Oliveira's stock has not gone down as a result. 
it wasn't dominant. He didn't get finished. It was he looked dominant near the end. He looked like he was going to get the choke. His stock's fine. Lopez, yeah, man, incredible. Honestly, so many great fights. So he could go on and on here. Josh, I'm hyped as well, man. So am I. Stop with the coat. You can run this back and Shaman Man will come again. I am sure we could. And there's a good chance he would. But I wouldn't write out any man. It's MMA, bro. Triple Division chat would be instant Hall of Fame. Yeah, I mean, he already is. He already is, I think. Because purely on the fact and the, the amount of time he's done what he's done, I think he has to be, right? Jamal chooses to stand a strike. Fight goes the same way. Hey, listen, who knows, man? Those calf kicks were looking good, though, from uh, Pereira as well. That jab to the body, which we know he likes. It was a good shot. I'm surprised, but for, to be honest, I think it caught me off guard, the lack of composure Jamal had in that moment when he got clipped because he's a defensively sound striker. He's very good in that regard, so it did surprise me he got caught that early. I thought if he was to lose, it would be a little later on. Once once Pereira had really softened him up with the kicks and, and the jab, that he was already doing. Mm. Well, me, that tea's good. Mm. Oliveira's done. No way. He's not done. I don't think he'll be champ again, but he's definitely still going to be doing well at this top level. And the only reason I say he won't be champ is just because of those two guys, yeah. You can't say he's done when he was that competitive against Armand Saruki and he's arguably the best in the division right now. You know, you could you could argue it. Olives actually beat Armand. No, I don't think he. I don't think he won. I, I don't think he won that fight, but it, it it was very close, very close. So I, I I'm glad we didn't hear chance for robbery because I think that would have been a load of bullshit. You know. Had Pereira got kicked in the groin and the seconds KO'd Hill. Yeah, it was so weird, bro. Where's that? He getting slept from? Like, yeah, I had to change it. Leave me alone. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> listen you guys can say oh i fucking told you so with a little, with a little nerd emoji i don't give a shit i don't care i i, I'm, I never claim to get my picks 100 percent right i said i'd hold the l i said i'd hold it i said i, I, I said my picks with chest it's a cl it was always a close fight and alex won and it was a fucking beautiful shot it was unbelievable money moicano with the comeback flying under the radar yeah i i, I thought about putting some money on him because i always said Jalen's turner's ground game is so suspect and dodgy his takedown defense isn't too bad, but if he goes to the mat, I, I thought Mykano would sub him, and he nearly did. I mean, he TKO'd him as a result, but yeah. Jalen ruining that chance at the end of the first round. Did you get the image from the post-fight presser? If not, get one right now. Of what? Am I missing something? I didn't watch it because I fell asleep. Yeah, we've got 20 people in here. Spam, spam the fucking like button right now, boys, please. I appreciate all of you. I'm going to gloat today. You picked Hill, lost, and then started Cubby saying it's MMA. It is MMA. You can say that about any shot. You can say that about the Holloway fight. I think the only thing crazier would have been if Gaethje landed that power right hand and put Max away. That could have happened. Oh, my God. You guys are... Chat is popping right now. I can't read everything. Is Bo Nickel on fraud watch after last night? No. He just sets that high standards for himself. It was a good performance. Alex versus Cejudo. Winner is the greatest combat athlete ever. No. <laughs> I mean, no, as in, like, neither of them are the greatest, would be the greatest comeback athlete ever anyway. They're up there, though. Olive on our man was five rounds. Any change of result? I don't know. I, I, I do wish it was five rounds. I'll say that. But I don't know if the result would have been different. We would have up to us. It was such a close competitive match. I couldn't say who would win. Raja's comeback was insane. Yeah, it almost felt like as Rakic got better and better, it just almost felt like <laughs> Prashka was going to knock him out. You're more likely to knock him out anyway. Pierre, not Pereira, according to the gangster from West Lynn. So get with the program. Speaking of the gangster from West Lynn, his fight with Anderson Silva getting inducted into the Hall of Fame was uh, pretty cool. Another one for the bad guy. Do you think this was an L business move on Gaethje's end? No, not really. He got paid a bag, bro. He got, keep in mind, he got a fight of the night bonus. So he might have got sparked, but he's another 300 grand richer on top of his contract. So there you have it. Holloway was up 4 0 and chose to brawl. True BMF. That's some BMF shit from both guys. Both guys. Cope was lame just because his MMA doesn't excuse it. A bad pick. It wasn't a bad pick. They're closely matched up. I st Listen, Pereira sparked him. I said that. I gave him the plaudits. And he, I think if, in a, if he fought anyone else in that division, I'm trying to think of the top of my head, I think the only guy right now he'd struggle with is Ankalaev. So, I mean, off the top of my head, and maybe I'm missing somebody, but yeah, it was a good shot. I just, at least I said, if, if Pereira could very easily beat him, and he did. He got caught by hooks before, and he was hand-fighting Alex's left hand. Yeah. 
So I think when it wasn't a body jab, he dropped his hand to throw his left straight. It was perfect. What, are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. I mean, are you talking about the the heel finish? I mean, what I noticed, I rewatched the finish. Is he grabs, he pulls Jamal's right hand down and uses that momentum to come back up with the shot, and it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful shot. Connor's back coming back in June. Yeah, long overdue, man. I'm actually picking with Connor right now. I was originally two years ago when that fight got fucking announced. If it was that long now, I was originally picking Charlotte, but my picks have actually changed since then. I'm going with Conor McGregor, and this is coming from someone who doesn't like Conor McGregor. So that proves I don't I don't pick with emotion. I don't I don't like Conor McGregor, and I'm still picking him to beat Michael Chandler. He was checking the untelegraph leg kicks better than anyone Patan has ever faced. <laughs> oh God, Alex will go down the Volk path. What does that mean? For good or bad. Pavlovich versus Pereira and Garn versus Pereira. Hmm. You've got... Oh, that's a good one. Now I think about it. Pavlovich's striking really isn't that special at all. He's just a wild man who hits like a freight train. But I, I it really is down to how Pereira is at heavyweight. That's the big question mark. It was the same when Jones moved up. That was the big question mark with how he would look at heavyweight. And I don't, I don't think he was. Even, I don't think it's even crazy to say Jones didn't even look good at heavyweight. He got the sub, and that was good. But his actual movement and his striking on the feet looked poor for how how short it was. Bro, Nikolic had a great performance last night. Round one, one round one, and sub the guy round two. Yeah, he's not on fraud watch. Absolutely not. He just sets high standards for himself, and he has been that dominant. He's only, probably six and zero. Oh. You're doing it to these guys of a way more experience. It's pretty damn impressive. Screenshot of the post-fight presser with no one in the chair, so look shot at you, the Dana. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I This might bug my shit out. I'm going to try and do that real quick. Sorry, I forgot about that. Fuck it. If I can find... I'll do that now. Snipping tool is such a bitch, though. It doesn't fucking work half the time. It's probably going to be low res as hell, but I should be... Uh... Right, there we go. I've got... <laughs> I'm going to have to catch up with the chat afterwards. I'm fucking snipping tooling this shit to try and... All right, this won't take me a minute. Hold on, boys. There we go. You pro I probably lagged a bit there. All right. Hang on. Bear with me, guys. This is going to look professional and cool. And very sick. Yeah, chat is popping, man. Jesus. When you got the picks on Aspel and Leon right, your thumbs ready and celebrating them with a crown. Yeah, of course I did. I'm biased as fuck because they're English. I have no shame in conceding that. With anyone else, it's different. All right, let me uh, let me try and get this in. Do, 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 do. Add a image. Okay. There we go. Okay, almost there. Almost there. I'm going to have to line it up as well. I don't know how this is going to look. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We've got to wind this back. Hey. There we go. i got to match the lighting, though. Let me up my shit. See, I, just, I, look, I go the extra mile for you guys. All right? I go the extra mile. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Uh, tonight's fight of the night bonus... $300,000 to Max Holloway. Kind of sound like John Anik there. Right, I think we're good there. How's that look? A little bit better. I just brightened it up a tad. Again, nothing's not perfect. I'm sorry. I can't do shit. Hang on. Oh, I just blinded myself. Is that all right? I might be a little bit better. Please, it's coming down here, man. Fuck this shit. I need to get better lights. No, you can see that. Man, I'm actually washed right now. Holy shit. All right, fuck it. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Come on, then. You need a monster ball? Yeah, I should do that. Gotta go sleep, black beard. I hope you have a good one, man. Good night, bro. Have a good one. Copium, shut up, man. Listen, I'll hold the L's. I'll hold the L's. Costa Strickland's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be that's good matchmaking that. Mm. Man, I fucking love tea, man. Herbal tea as well. Basement dweller YouTube to present UC. Yeah, look. Yeah, Dana gave me the job. Listen, he said, you know, he's been talking about retiring and he was like, I want to give this kid a shot. And uh, he picked me. Do you want to be a fighter? Or well, in this case, president of the UFC. Yes, I do. If it was up to me, who would I give a bonus on that night? I thought Lopez got hard done by, but I've heard he's probably got something under the table. So 
as he rightfully should have done. Uh, I would have given him the 300 bags, though. Connor Hall called out all over BMF. Oh, he can shut up, man. Shut up, Joe, you little fool, yeah. <laughs> I was watching, uh, listening to his drunk voice notes the other day. Made me laugh. As much as I don't like McGregor, his drunk voice notes are fucking hilarious. Hang on, let me... There we go. That's going to add a little bit of lime. My hair is not on today. This is what happens, right? I'm still sort of war-torn from last night. Background, might as well ask a generic reporter question. Who's got the first question? How does it feel to be back in Vegas for 300? <laughs> oh, my God. That's the problem with journalism, man, in the UFC. They're just all on Dana's payroll. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you get where I'm coming from. That's what I'm saying. No one does it like Ariel Hawani, man. No one. I don't care. I'll glaze that guy because he actually presses the, the, the question, you know, and that's why he's not, he's not allowed anymore. I'm going to start drinking more tea. Yeah, I mean, I like English tea, but I, that's what I'm saying. Japanese tea, man. I don't know. I can, I'm can. i going to try and see that so you can't. Yeah, you probably can't see it. It probably looks a bit grim. I don't want to spill it. Herbal tea, bro. I'm not really one for it, but I've been drinking Japanese tea and I'm addicted, bro. I had too much caffeine yesterday, bro. I was all on my iced coffees, all of that jazz. I needed it. I only care that jury won. Everyone else is all right. Spiffy, what's up, bro? I was glad as well. That That video of him outside the arena last night, it resonated with me a little bit. Tea, Kofa, Copium. Listen, if that's Copium, I'm drinking all of that shit. And real talk, because it's tasty. Uh, did y'all not notice Hill was, ch was chicken points kicks better than everyone he faced in the UFC? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a high high bar, isn't it? P Poatan is so stealthy with his calf kicks. That's really his main weapon because he throws it from the front. He doesn't throw it from the side. And that's the, that's the huge thing. He just flicks it out. You don't see it. And you've got so many other things to think about that... You know, your your attention span is taken away from those kicks a lot of the time because you're so worried about that left hook. Will the UFC come back to Manny? It's already been confirmed. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're, they're, they're penning it for July, right? And there was meant to be, according to some journalists, I can't remember who it was who broke the news, but they were meant to do a London card. A London card, like, within the same two weeks. Which, so I think the Manchester one was the pay-per-view and the London one would have been a fight night, but they couldn't get the arena. So I think they're moving the London card back to late this year. So I... I will probably go to the London card, especially if it's a fight night. I'll probably actually be able to afford it. But the Manchester one, I can't be asked because I'd have to travel and get accommodation. And I really can't be bothered to do that. It's a shame because it'll be sick. But yeah, I'm going to try and get to the London cards. Thoughts on Invisible? Yeah, really fucking sick. I'm going to read the comics pretty soon. I want to get the big compendiums. I fucking loved it. Oh, man, is a menace. Yeah, he's a beast, bro. Terrifying. Really, really good. I, I can't wait for that Mahachev fight. Or, well, it might be Poirier. Who fucking knows, man? I'd, speaking of that, yeah, Dustin Poirier getting announced. I would absolutely love for that man to get to get over the hill and get that belt, but I don't see it. But we'll have to see. It's MMA, as I said. You never know. Hill with two legs beats Poirier in a rematch, but who knows? We never may find out. You never know. I think it won't take... Hill's still in that contention. I think you give him maybe one big win. Let's say he, let's say he fights Ankalaya for some reason. He's right back in there. He's fighting for the belt again. I don't think he's really got to earn that rematch because the UFC will understand that he stepped in on short notice, really, not 100% fit, to take a big chance at UFC 300 against a terrifying individual. So I don't think his stock's going down from losing that fight, and it's not a case of, yeah, you're done. You're going to have to climb back up the ladder. He obviously will to a little bit, to an extent, but not as much as some other guys. So I think he'll be, he's still in that conversation. Fight and wait to fight Aspinall, maybe in Jones. Yeah, I don't see it happening either, but I, I love the Aspinall fight purely for Tom. Because I'm a Tom, I'm a Tom Glazer, unashamed. But hey, who knows? We might. Hey, listen, that's what I'm saying. The sport moves so quick. We might be fucking talking about it in three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> we literally might be. Kay Larison looked good. Yeah, she looks. I forgot about her. There were so many great fights. She looked excellent, man. Excellent. Imagine her versus Raquel Pennington, man. That is legalized murder. It's not even like genuinely. That is over. I guarantee you, that's over within the first two minutes. I don't guarantee you because it's MMA, but that's for me, that, that fight's over in two minutes. Question down here. <laughs> After his flawless performance tonight, Alex talked about flying at 301. Is there a chance we'll see him versus Anka Live in Rio? I'll do what Dana says. He goes, I don't know. I don't know. When he just doesn't want to answer a question. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. <coughs> there you go. Choking on it. Shut up, Avon. I can see that. It's probably look like he shat his pants when Max called him out. Nah. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, they just caught him lacking on the camera. You know, when he looks angry and, and, and ooh, like that and stoic, he's playing up to it. And he obviously just didn't realize the camera was on him, I don't think. I don't know. I think, I think Max beats him, though. I do. I don't think he's scared. You can't call the featherweight champion of the world scared. Any pictures of the baddest background? Calvin, I'm glad you like it. It's pretty fucking cool, isn't it? Max was up on the scorecards, still decides to stand and bang for the last 10 seconds. Yeah, what an absolute chad. Sad for Gaethje, lost win streak, BMF and title shot, nothing to gain. I don't, you say that, he got paid a fat bag, and I don't think his stock's gone down that much, really. Like, maybe a little bit, but he's, it's kind of almost like, a, in a, it's, that fight was in its own pocket. I don't think his lightweight stock has gone down massively. Don't see her beating Kayla anytime soon. Yeah, she's just too strong. There's no way she's not juicing to make 135, though. Same way that TJ was. I don't know. O'Malley, the best striker in the UFC. Poata and Dev moved up my list. Yeah, bro, they're all elite, bro. Let's just enjoy them while we're here. I said this about Volkanovski before he went on his downfall and his decline. Just enjoy these guys and girls while they're here because they're just so good. Just appreciate it, man. Yeah, fuck fighting Kayla Harrison. She would absolutely... She just judo throw me and just submit me unconscious in about a minute. Probably less. Guess which judge didn't give Harrison a 10-8 in the first? I bet you'll never know. Was it Mike Bell or Sol D'Amato? One of those two. Yeah, smash like, please. Thank you, Calvin. See, look, you, you're doing my job for me. 28 viewers. Let's fucking go, man. We are moving up, boys. Thank you. If anyone new to the stream, we stream Tuesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. We were actually a little bit late today, but you didn't hear that from me. Um, but at 7 p.m. Tuesday and Sunday, we chat things, MMA and random shit as well, whatever we feel like talking about, so... The, the, the OGs of the stream will know those are in here. They'll know this is a good place to be. So uh, I hope to see you guys here on the regular. Shout out Jalen for fumbling the bag. He wanted that bonus. He wanted to be cold with it. He's fu And he fucked it up. Don't think Ilya's scared, but in that moment, I can see the look of, I pray that's not me when we fight. Yeah, I mean, everyone's human. So there is that. There is that. You know, no one, no one, everyone knows they're not invincible, bro. I literally picked Turner, Radio Pick him in. Yeah, I picked him as well, but I, I had a hunch on my Kano and I, I fucking wish I put money on it. I was going to and I just didn't because I was like, I don't want to I don't want to make stupid bets. And it wasn't stupid. Yeah, it was Mike Bell. There you go. I mean, was the first round a 10 a 10 8? I mean, she didn't do like a I mean, it was it was a strong 10 9. I don't think it was a crazy round to to, to give a 10 8 or vice versa. I don't know. What's next for Justin? Poor is fighting Islam. Our man is next in line. Let's look at the lightweight division real quick and I'll have a little gander. Um, who can you give him there? I mean, Darius, Gamrot, they're available, right? I mean, Darius is coming off the KO loss, but Dan Hooker, Dan Hooker. If we want, if you're talking about what's the fun, funnest fight there, you give him Dan Hooker. Do you get back to me? Tatiana Suarez, the only one to beat Kara Harrison. Yeah, she's got a good chance, man. Tatiana Suarez has got great grappling. Kwasim, I agree, man. It was one of the best ever, if not the best. 14-8 and eight for Turner. That's not a bad record. Patton fought with a broken toe. I thought it was Hill that had the broken toe. I saw something about a broken toe. Maybe I misread it. Maybe you're probably right. I, I was half asleep. Guru started to Moikano. Wasn't even entertaining, but Guru glazed him. Uh, listen, I, I probably would as well if I was in his position. It's cool if you get acknowledged by a fighter, isn't it? 46 to 0 insignificant strikes. Yeah, fair enough then. I mean, yeah, you could say that, but if they're like, obviously, they, yeah, they were quite a lot of bombs in there. I need to rewatch it. You're probably right. Not mad, just a little side of the Marina fight. I'm actually mad about because she literally won rounds one and three, then got robbed. I don't think it was a robbery. I think you could have picked that one either way. I thought it was a great fight. I don't think it was a, the only bad fight that night was Aljamain Sterling once, and that wasn't really his fault because Calvin Kale offered him fuck all. I think the rest of the fights were all great. There wasn't a single bad one there. Hill main event got me feeling sad. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really understand how you can be a massive fan of Jamal Hill. I don't think he's he's like endearing enough to, to warrant being a mega fan, but hey. Suarez is 115. Oh yeah, of course she is. She's fucking flyweight. What the fuck am I talking about? But what, what am I talking about 115? She's strawweight. Yeah. Is she strawweight or is she flyweight? I swear she's flyweight, right? Didn't she beat who did she beat? She beat Andrade. Oh, she is at strawweight. No, she was a flyweight. And she's just dropped down to strawweight. Yeah, okay. 
Max Holloway's ever been knocked down. That is crazy. Yeah, man. Fucking nuts. That shows you how powerful Gaethje is. You can't count that brother out. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Can we move that up? Is that going to play nice? Nope. Nope, again. So I'm trying to just move myself up a little bit. There you go. I will come the go to the UFC just so I can give you the shout. Please do. When you get that post-fight bonus, shout me out as well. Or send me some of it. Aldo fight put me to sleep. Yeah, it wasn't really his fault, though. Dealt a bit of a shit hand. Cater offered him nothing there. Not really much he could do. He did what he needed to do. Didn't really watch the Marina fight, so sure, whatever. How does she make it closer than Josh at this point in both their careers? I thought it was a fun fight. That's what I, all I wanted from those two girls, and I thought it was a great fight. So was the other woman's fight. So was Shang Wei Li versus Yan Jianan, who we need to talk about. Yan Jianan's heart is unbelievable, man. She had Wei Li in a lot of trouble at points in that fight. And to survive that joke at the end of the first round and say, fuck it, I'm still here. And then survive another one and then come back and drop Zhang Weili a couple times. Oliver Justin too. Oh, you're, you're speaking my language there. Yeah, I'm there for that. I'm at one. Charlie did no damage except round one close choke. Yeah, I, I, had, I had Charles winning the first round and then and then uh, Arman winning the other two. The DAS was close though. Close on the DAS. I'm from where Hill is. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I, I completely get that. I mean, listen, I'm, you know, I'm a massive Aspinall fan, and and Leon fan. They're not. I'm not even from their town, bro. I'm just from. They're both English, so. What a fight, Max. Yeah, Ivan. Crazy, wasn't it? Lockdown wasn't counted. That's dumb. How was it not? Someone said watching Aljo is like watching the best accountant do their job. Still really like the dude as a person. <laughs> yeah, I, I get where you're coming from. I actually do like his fights, generally speaking. That one, not not so much so. But it, again, as I said, it was more as a... It takes two to tango. And Kate, I did not want to dance. So I, I do feel for him in that regard. And I'm glad he got some cheers at the press conference. It's been a lo long time coming. This, I'm a big Aljo fan, so I, I, it was nice to see that. Great team got done dirty by Holloway, but at least he is the first to drop Holloway, which I predicted. And Holloway via split decision or late stoppage. I had him by decision. I had him by UD, but we're one second off that. So I'll take it. Who do you think Bo should fight next? Give him Ikram. I think that's a little bit too soon. I think, but they're going to they're gonna do the Sean O'Malley with him. They're going to just take him slow, feed him a couple more guys, build him up. Build that star power up, and then they'll, they'll start pushing him fast. Pen hell of a yeah, fair play to her. The guy, I mean, that shows you how good the the team, the guys at Team Alpha Male with your eye Faber, bro. They have created so many good talent. You know, Song Yadong, another one. It feels like they're cornering top five, top like top five fighters every week. So many good fighters coming out of there. Did they use spending talks? Yeah, I heard something about it, but then I thought someone disproved it, so I don't actually know. Oliver Gamrot, the only one who Olives hasn't been in the top five. That would be easy. Yeah, I think Oliver would beat that. I don't think the Gaethje fight would be easy though. I know that sounds great, crazy to say, but I don't think it would be. I, I mean, I don't think any fight against Gaethje is easy. The guy hits like a freight train. Kate landed eight significant strikes the whole fight, washed as hell. Yeah, I mean, that injury definitely took it out of him, man. DC tried to say the knockdown was a slip. I mean, it did look like it in the moment. So I think a rear naked choke and an arm triangle. Yeah, man, she's a killer. Very, her striking looked very good. And I don't think she's too old, right? I know, obviously, you're the timeline for women's MMA is a bit different within the peaks and sort of troughs of your career, but I mean, how old is she? She's, she, she's quite young. Oh, no, I take that back. She's 34. <laughs> well, I'm wrong. But then again, they're about a they're similar age. But even then, she looked very good. Very good. No, not down can. Max did not even drop the coat. <laughs> Shut up. Max made Justin turn his brainless version of him. Yeah, he sort of unleashed that. The, the 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 barbarian Justin Gaethje from uh, like 20, 2018 odd. Or 2019, rather. Whenever I fight him standing, I will knock him out. Who? <laughs> Who are you claiming here right now? I've also bad for Bilal. Bro is being done dirty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the same time, you've got to be entertaining the cage. That's kind of it. You know, you can see, you, for better or worse, that's how the UFC operates. And that's it's, an, it's not even a secret. It's just how it is. Everyone knows that. And if you're not entertaining the cage, I don't know what you expect. So that's kind of it, really. You know, he'll he'll get the shot eventually. He'll get the shot. Is the Israel the only one to care, Alex? In MMA, yeah. Samurai to Shogun. What a beast, man. I'm so happy for him. 
Yeah, yeah, they didn't count the Holloway knockdown. I think that, that's mental. Why not? There's got to be a rule behind that, right? That I'm missing. Hate is also... Hate on is also crazy. It's MMA not kickboxing. There's a hole on the ground to exploit. You'd be stupid not to... Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Connor versus Chandler has finally been announced. First round Connor versus first round non-negative IQ Chandler is going to be amazing. Yeah, as soon as he goes past that first round, bro. Chandler turns into a bunch of vegetables. Or you know, in the, you ever seen the Simpsons movie where it just zooms into Homer's head and it's just that like monkey with the symbols clapping and doing a flip? That's, that's, that's Michael Chandler after the first five minutes. If Poitain beats Magomedes in top 10 all-time goats and nobody in that division beats him, but at the same time, after he beats Ankalaev, he'll move up to heavyweight guaranteed. Yeah, 100%. I, for me, Ankalaev has to beat him, in my opinion. I just think him... Ankalaev is... I'll put it this way. I'll try and be a little bit eloquent here. The deficit between Ankalaev striking and Pereira striking is far smaller than the deficit between his grappling and Pereira's grappling. You know, that, that's the gap with the striking. That's the gap with the grappling. So Pereira might be better on this side, but on grappling, Ankalaev is levels above. And for me, that's the difference maker. Jiri is also very good. Yeah, he just ignores MMA, bro. He does not care. Best is blessed. Bro, I literally picked Max Holler to win. <laughs> what do you mean, cope? I shed a tear when Cody got subbed. Yeah, he looked great as well, didn't he? I thought, I thought I was beginning to believe in that first five minutes. I was like, oh my God. He's so much quicker. He's outlanding him. This is it. This is amazing. And then he got taken down. And then he got choked out. And then he looked really sad. And his life was flashing before his eyes. Who is Bilal? Yeah, I don't know who that is. I don't know who Bilal Muhammad is. Did he call him Jiri Low IQ? I mean, he's not wrong. But that's kind of works in Jiri's favor. I like the name Boob. That's something we can all unanimously agree on, I think. Probably similar to takedowns. Something to do with time spent on the ground. Holloway takedown not counting. That's bullshit. I thought it was to do with how many, how many points of contact you have on the ground. Maybe I'm wrong there. I think if you go onto all fours, I think it counts. Let me actually watch that back. If they've posted the highlights. I'm curious because I think if you ha I think if you have three points on the ground, it doesn't count. Oh straight. The UFC straight out posted the KO on YouTube. That because they they don't do that with pay per views unless it's some serious shit. So that's how you know. That's how you know. Right, I'm trying to find Oh, have they just where was the knockdown? What round was that? I'm trying to find it right now. Uh, oh, I think it's here. Here we go. Oh, it's very quick. I'm trying to see it. He sort of slipped, falls back on his ass. So surely that has to count, right? Weird. I don't know. I don't know the rules on it anyway. What am I talking about? Drew, tough his way for that rackish fight, but he's still got that chin. Yeah, crazy. I, I, I said this, I said this earlier, it almost felt as Rakic got better and better, it just felt like Jiri was just closer and closer to a finish anyway. He just fucked off his entire game plan and said, I'm going to kill you. Jiri didn't look like good versus Rakic, he was able to catch a few times. Well, he never looks, he, you said that about any Jiri fight, he never looks good until he does. So, like Dominic Reyes was piecing him up until he didn't, he wasn't. Glover Teixeira was beating him up until he didn't, you know? Cope before you got Max got dropped. Best doesn't get dropped, baby. Okay, this is this is horrendous bait from you now, man. That, uh, that's 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 horrendous bait. I'm familiar with your game, sir. Not anymore. Oh man, I'm almost. I don't know where do we go from here. I don't know. I I was gonna do a Jose Aldo video this week. That was what why I was planning on writing tomorrow. But the more I look at it, I think I'm gonna change it. I think I'm going to do a video on Max Holloway. I was, I think was, what I'm going to do is I'll save the Aldo for one, but after 301, gambling on the fact that he's going to win. I really fucking hope he wins, because if he wins, I'm going to do a video on him, and it'll be worth it. If he doesn't, I won't. So I'll probably do a Holloway video this week. I kind of want to do, do, him, do him some justice. Do, do, give him the plaudits he, he deserves, and I think he sort of redeemed himself in that regard, and there's an interesting narrative arc to explore there. So, yeah. That's that. That's gonna be on the agenda today. That's the, that's probably what I'm gonna to write tomorrow. How does Tom stand up compared to Alex's? I mean, they're completely different, but heavyweight is gonna be a different ball game for for Alex. So I'd have to go with Tom. Makes a mullet KO, yes sir. Diego Lopez, baby. 
Why not do Holloway this week, then out of the Friday for 301? Uh, I, I purely because mm, I could do that. Hang on, when the fuck is 301? Isn't oh yeah, I could do that. Ooh. Maybe, yeah, maybe I will do that. That's a good point. I don't know. But Holloway, I really want to. do. I've been planning on doing a Holloway one for a while. In fact, I actually started writing one very, a very, I mean, rudimentarily. We're talking a few lines. Um, probably about five months ago, and I just didn't end up getting around to it and I, I i don't know it got backlogged and same with my charles Oliveira video which i had written and it, it still is done i had the script done i don't like it anymore though because it's nowhere near as good as my current stuff and it doesn't follow a similar format to what i do now so i'm gonna rewrite that in the future if i ever do one on charles so that, that that's gonna come later in the far far future where does the division go if Pereira beats maga made that's a big if I mean, the logical step is the heavyweight jump for Aspinall, really. That seems to be what's already being touted, right? Still wait for Jamal to rub it in our faces. <laughs> I mean, he's got to take that thing out his bio now, doesn't he? My UK card, Aspinall Blades, Leon Balau, Wonderboy MVP, Paddy Bobby Green, Arnold Allen, Josh Emmett. Oof, speaking my language. I'd probably swap the MVP fight with Ian Gary, personally. So I'd do MVP versus Gary because I feel like the Wonder Boy fight stylistically just wouldn't work. I feel it'd be kind of boring. I know that sounds weird, but I feel like Ian Gary versus MVP would be a bit more entertaining. So I, I, stylistically, that's just what I'd do. And then on the undercard, you could have, you'd, mate, get Nathaniel Wood in there, Lerone Murphy. He's headlining He's heading a fight night against Parboza pretty soon, if I'm not mistaken. If he wins that, he's in a right in, in contention for the top 10, top 5. And then maybe chuck in, get some of the guys who represent the UKs on Makayev. Shavi Basharat, I know he technically doesn't represent the UK, but he trains out of there. Get the Basharat guys on there. Bro, loads of fights you could do. Thumbnail was wrong for months. JVD, leave me listen, I know, I know, I know, I know. I said I'd hold the L. I said, we've been through this. I've been cooked the whole stream. <laughs> I've been cooked the whole stream. On paper, Anthony Smith sleeps Pereira. Yeah, Alex Pereira, uh, Anthony Smith beats everybody on paper, bro. He be, he's, he's, he's the goat, paper goat. Big Bit Park is being there. Absolutely not. Not after his fucking... Hang on. To be fair, his last performance wasn't too bad. But his fight before that was one of the most boring fucking things I've ever watched in my life. So I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to watch that. He is good, though. To be fair to him. But... I mean, beating Mohamed Usman is a legit win. And I had him winning that fight. But fuck me. His, his win against Kyle Machado is... I've never watched a shit to fight in my life besides Rose versus Esparza too. You know what I mean? Keep up with the videos, all love. Nah, nah, I'm joking. It's all good, man. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like them. Max did what Leon would never do up on the cards, but just swings it out and gets an all-time KO. I mean, Leon did go for an inverted triangle in, a, in, a, in the last couple of minutes of a fight he was winning, so I have to give him that. I know you're baiting a bit, but... On paper, so you're allowed Arian. I don't know what that means. Question to your left. I, I don't want to actually look left as if we're in the, with the press conference, but... Have you talked to Alex about 301 or a fight with either Aspinall and Kalaev? Uh, yeah, I said Aspinall was going to beat the fuck out of you, but we'll pay you a lot of money to, 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 to take the fight. <laughs> so take the fight, heavyweight. That's what I said to him. After tonight, Poirot is the hardest puncher in history. UFC issue. I was just passing Francis. I don't agree with that boxing. I don't think that means shit. I guarantee you Francis hits harder than Pereira does. That, that record thing means fuck all. Uh, bro, I can't read half of those words. He wasn't hit like this at midway because he was drained. That's true. I agree with that, though. I know love my profile pic. I can't actually see it. It's quite, like, zoomed in. Hang on. Let me have, let me have, a, little, let me have a little gander. Let me have a little gander. Hold up with it. Hmm. Let's have a little gander. What is it? Oh, hell nah, man. You're, you're really doing them like that, man. Come on now. You can't... Don't do Volk like that. That's my boy. Imagine getting a black belt from Okao with no grappling. Yeah, that was dumb. For a great knockout, that shit was this stupid as hell. Like, at least when Tyron Woodley got his, he pulled out a beautiful Bravo choke on, on, on Till. It was a Bravo choke, a ninja choke. Basically the same sort of thing, I think. But... So, so that was deserved. You know? Oh, shit. I'm going to sneeze, boys. I'm going to have to mute up. Oh, no. You know when the sneeze is coming and it doesn't hit? Oh, fuck, man. Power Q is pretty consistent. Like I said, Joe Fiverr hits harder than Garnu, which is just impossible. Yeah, exactly. Pereira's power is superior. 
Give up, Phil. I gave him the credit. We're done. See, he hit Hill with two knuckles and rolled his eyes behind his head, just like that Hill was stomach. I was still conscious. Shows how good Hill's chin is. Yeah, he's got a great chin. But that show also shows you how hard Pereira fucking hits. Power from kickboxing. Oh, has returned. Glory kickboxing is back. Poatan. Shamba. I should put that in the title, actually. Can I do that? I'm going to use Shamba as a verb. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that. We'll add Shammer into the title, as we should. Pereira struggling and guarding. No, he's not, man. Come on now. Shammer chain. Yeah, run in the chat, boys. Get them in there. Leon didn't swing with Cowboy. He cornered away. Lame rails. A terrible bait, bro. Give up, man. This is low from you. You got. You're better than this, man. You're better than this. What are you gonna do? Fine announcements. Yeah, excited. Glad Dustin's getting his last dance. I don't think he wins off the top of my head. Uh, but I would absolutely more love more than anything for do for him to do so and prove me wrong because. Dustin Poirier being the undisputed champion would get me quite emotional. Can't lie. And obviously McGregor Chandler's in there. Strickland Costa, all great for matchups. Just wish we got the McGregor Chandler fight a bit sooner than we are. Than we are, but hey, that's it. We can't. At least we're getting it, barring any injuries. And I shouldn't say that because then one of them's going to get injured. But yeah, Alex is an inbred. Bro, he's you got the same name as him, bro. You tell me. Ari, I, I, I can't fucking read, boys. Dustin by Ramon Geely. Could you imagine? I mean, you never know. He nearly caught Khabib with it. And Khabib admitted it was tight. It was close. <laughs> you know what I mean? You never know. McGregor, McGregor wins, they're probably going to be shot. Yeah, I agree. You know what the UFC is like. They'll, they'll do anything to give McGregor that chance. If he, if he beats Chandler, which I actually think he will. I think he'll spark him. Yeah. Then you have to worry, don't you? That's what I'm saying. You nearly, nearly KO'd Hill with just two knuckles. I've never seen that, or at least in a long time before that. Maybe I'm in the moment. I just think Pereira hits harder. Not the Nangado. Come on now. No way. Pereira doesn't outright flat. No, you no, no. He, he could no. I'm not even actually having that debate now. I think about it. Pereira doesn't even flat out KO people. Nangado puts people to sleep. Pereira doesn't like outright cold put people out like that. Like he 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 floors them. He, he drops them and then finishes them with ground a pound. Or like you know, Adesanya he didn't put away with he put away with about a million different shots. And even then, it was a standing TKO. You know, he doesn't put people out cold. At cold, cold, in that way. Like, even Prahashka, yeah, knocked him out, but didn't put him, like, sleeping. You know, going to bed on the canvas. And Garnu does that. Dustin is like crazy guy. He think I tap in front of father. <laughs> this guy crazy. Yeah, that was... I mean, I remember watching that. I thought... I started to believe for a minute, you know. But hey, that's the game. Does he have more power? Power, power, I believe. Yeah, that's a fair shout. I, I can't understand that. Being at 170 makes it interesting if they give him Leon. Oh, no, it's not. That's a, that's legalized murder, mate. Legalized fucking murder. If, if you give Conor McGregor Leon Edwards, that's... There's no... it's not That fight's not even close. I'm sorry. It just isn't. McGregor will get leg kicked to high fucking hell and then probably taken down and submitted. How quickly did the fights between Dustin and Islam and Conor and Shana come about? And was there a discussion to announce it during the 300 pay-per-view itself? No, someone just gave me a piece of paper. And, uh, and then I gave that to Dana. So he he announced it. I I just sort of I don't know. I yeah. Someone gave it to me and I wrote it down. I was like, oh yeah, and I just I just gave gave it to Dana. Different. Whoa whoa whoa. No 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 no. We don't want none of that in chat, man. Come on now. Come on now. None of that, man. None of that, please. I mean that though. We ain't about racism. Who cares about Ngannou? Leave that irrelevant. No name for the PFL. <laughs> Kobe's relentless. Gotta respect it. Hey, if you think I'm coping, then that's fine with me, man. Then he needs someone in the face. Who? Am I stupid? Does anyone know what weight class Conor Chandler is having a well away, bro? 170. Will I punish Bruce Buffer for not introducing Jim Miller as Jim Effing Miller? No, because like, he doesn't actually... He doesn't swear, does he? He doesn't. I think it's just a Bruce Buffer thing. He doesn't like to swear. Or curse, as the Americans say. A lot of various performance. I think he looked good. I think he looked very good. He just didn't get the nod. I thought our man won. I think it was a close fight, but neither man's stock went up or down, really. Good fight. It's what we wanted. It was about the best worst case scenario Oliveira could have. Forget about Pereira's glory kickboxing run, sleeping people with one punch. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, Ngannou hits harder objectively, but pound for pound, that's maybe a different question. I don't know. Shimmy title shot would be 
Ilya, but how could they even give him that if he fought a 170? Hmm. Oh, you mean McGregor? Are you talking about McGregor? Or are you talking about Holloway? I don't know. If you're talking about McGregor, there's no fucking way he's making 145 again. I'll tell you that. Oh, man, this isn't the hardest test. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Miss Cooper, to your right here. <laughs> what are the emotions like now that 300 is over? NPC Media Voice. Like, you just got to be like John Morgan. Who's got the first question? Um, I'm kind of content. That's the word I'd use. Lopez has clinched up a cut. Yeah, that made me want to burst. Pause. I mean, not even pause. I'll say that with chest. That shit was clean. Pretty sure Bruce didn't do it because it was an ESPN and Dana told him not to. Nah, Dana would not give a fuck. I'm telling you that right now. Dana would not care, bro. <laughs> it's UFC 300 in one of the most important events in the company's history. I don't think a swear word is going to bring the company down. I don't think Dana would care. You can say a lot of things about Dana White, but in shit like that, I really don't think he he never cares. Bro, he bought Donald Trump out and, and, and ignored the fact that ESPN didn't want him out there. Whether you agree with that or not, or like Donald Trump, which I definitely don't, but... You know, you think a swear word is going to be a, a, a worse offense than that? No. Yes, McGregor, who didn't give him the title against. I mean, if he stays at Welterweight, then Leon, yeah, obviously. Isn't Diego Lobert's fucking awesome? Yeah, he is, man. He's everyone's favorite fighter right now. Yeah, but you can't cast an ESPN. Yeah, but so what? You get fined. Brilliant. Ooh. They're not, you, ESPN are not going to cancel their deal with the UFC because of a swear word, are they? Nothing will change, bro. Who wins right now, Max or Elliot Featherweight? I have to pick Max right now. Honestly, he just looks unstoppable. Again, and Styles make fights, so you could say, oh, yeah, Volk beat the fuck out of him three times, and Taporia beat Volk, so that means Taporia is going to beat Holloway. No, that's not how fights work at all. Last night proved that. Gaethje knocked out Poria, Poria beat Holloway, and Holloway beat Gaethje. That's the MMA triangle right there. Styles make fights, man. What's wrong with Donnie Trump? Um, Panada, you just drip it, you're coming in and just dropping that. It was good to see you there, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Just don't like him, innit? Don't agree with a lot of his views. And he's also American. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But pretty sure he's just a dodgy guy. Okay, let me put it this way. Francis does hit harder because he's been the natural heavyweight his whole career. But if Poitain moves up and get used to the weight, no. Because he's not a natural heavyweight. He's not. And Ghanu is. It's different. You can move up. You still won't have the same intrinsic power as a heavyweight. You just don't. How many of those Diego upsets could you take? I reckon maybe one or two. I'll probably try and run away. When will the UFC implement the new gloves? They did last night, did they not? Or am I crazy? Well, maybe they didn't because they, they, the champs weren't wearing the gold gloves. Yeah, I'm not really part of that, that logistical department. I don't know how that goes. Dana sorts all that shit out. Listen, I'm just the spokesperson. I'm here to talk to the people. To you. Who does Zhang face following her excellent performance against Yan in female Chinese accent? <laughs> um, who do you give her? Tatiana Suarez, probably. Why not? She's moved down to strawweight, hasn't she? Diego Lopez, the mythical fighter. I mean, you have to only to be a mythical fighter, you've got to have a unique quality about you. So, what would that be? I don't know. Anyways, change the annoying new YouTube UI back to what it was. Did they update it? I'm on desktop right now, so I don't know. What am I missing here? I don't know. If Max were to stay at lightweight, would you put Arman or him to fight Islam? Hmm. I mean, I, I. I'd actually really prefer the Armand fight just because I think it's more competitive and it's got the storyline behind it and I'd like to see that sort of revenge plot. So I'd go with Armand. And then we can just have Max moving out to Featherweight. I I'd rather have him fighting Taporia and Armand fighting Islam than Max getting that lightweight shot. I've seen Poitain move up to two, move up to heavyweight and kick Rory and hit even harder than he did at light heavyweight. You could be right. Listen, yeah, we could debate for hours about that. Jiri, Jiri indeed, man. Ivan, I'm a big fan of him too. Unique quality is... Bro, steady on with that. <laughs> Mythical Vita, championship fight O'Malley. I mean, he just turns up anyway. Have you never seen him not turn up, really? What do you mean Diego has it? He's just got the it factor, man. He's that guy. He's everyone's favorite fighter. He is that dude. Put out and clapping. Okay, no. No, no, no. <laughs> if I hear another shammer, oh my God, Puatan Epic. Poliana Viana, Shama, look, Shama Riz. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, shit. I'm going to get demonetized for saying that. Uh, not demonetized. This stream is just going to get limited ads. It's happened before. Oh, well. doesn't really matter. The streams don't really earn much from ad revenue anyway. So I don't really care. 
<laughs> I remember first time, bro. What the fuck is this chat? I, bro, I need to stop reading. I got to read these. I got to read them out before I actually say them. Francis does hit harder, but it's not that far apart. Yeah. Okay. Fair. I'll go. I'll. 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 I'll, I'll agree to disagree. Walk out was more pog. Max's last night or Leon's head kick? Leon's head kick for me. We debate this on the pod, actually. So when that comes out, either late tonight or tomorrow. Um, yeah. I, I have to go with Leon. Will was picking Max, though, for that. Just say you were so acting. What, what do you mean? Just say in game, of course, next time. Yeah, in game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah fate, it's not real. You're the new Bisbing. How? What do you think is next for Aljo? I mean, he's right in that contention, isn't it? I'd like to see him versus Arnold Allen. I think that would be fun. But I think it's a little bit too too of a step down for Allen right now. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, I like that matchup now I think about it. Chance to see Alex and Polly under the same card at all? No, stop. Stop it. I, this is brain rot humor now. Max's KO was way better. I mean, in terms of hype, yeah. But in terms of what the, the KO meant, it's hard to say. It's very close, though. Very close. Fight the night was Aljo. God, even though I know you, that's a sin to say that, bro. Coming from you. That's coming from you, bro. We all sin. I don't know. I'm not Christian. I'm not even religious, but you got, you, you, you'd got you be sinning by saying that, bro. Nice KO was better. Winning the fight and swung out and KO'd the dude. Yeah, the fact that it was a buzzer beer and that UFC 300 on the biggest stage, that adds to it for sure. But he was it was a fight he was already winning. So that's kind of the difference. Like For me, the fact that Leon won it from like absolutely nowhere against the pound pound number one. You know, it, it adds, yeah, that, that that for me is special. But again, they're basically tied. If you're wondering why I said Jamal here, it's harder than Poitain before. It's because Pereira drained himself at middleweight. Yeah, that's I agree with that. That's probably why he didn't put Adesanya away. Leon is lame in comparison. Your UK supremacy is showing. I mean, I'm talking about the KO. You can say what you want about Leon. I like him, but you don't have to. I'm just talking about his finish. Is he one of the best KOs? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, either, it's number one or number two. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not even reading that early. I can't be asked, bro. Jesus Christ. Fucking hate brain rot. I hate it. If Whaley and Caleb are the same size, who wins? That's a, that's a dumb hypothetical. I don't know. How, how do you respond to that? Because if Whaley was, was at that weight, she'd be, she'd be a lot slower. Or if Kayla was lighter, she'd be a lot quicker, but she wouldn't be a stronger. You could debate that anyway. I don't know. Ability-wise, Whaley, she's more well-rounded, but hey. How on earth come out of 300? Kayla has some more entertaining fight than Aljo. He really is that good. Aljo is good. But again, it was Kayla's it was take Susan Tango. Kata was not up for it. So that was it, really. Second assignment from my boy Cody. I thought maybe it was after that first round. I thought I thought we were seeing the Cody 2.0 that fought Rafael and Sal. Uh, we did not. He looked great, though, on the feet. Looked very good, actually. But, yeah, Figueredo's grappling was the, was the difference maker. Flukiest fight ever? No, bro, he's in your name. How can you call him Fluky when your name is Poatan, bro? How dare you not make Charles win? Yeah, bro, why don't you dictate the rules, bro? Why don't you do it? What's next for Figgy? It's a good question. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. I like Henry Cejudo, Song Yadong, maybe. Cheeto Vera, any one of those three. I'm there for that all day. Sometimes the bad guy has to win. Indeed, bro. Ask Charles Sonnen. Figgy Umar, that's a great fight. What's next for Charles? I mean, lightweight's so stacked, you can throw him against anyone. Again, the, we said this out the Gaethje rematch, I really like the idea of. I'd probably do the Gaethje rematch. Someone said that in chat. I don't know who that was, but Gaethje rematch would be good. Cody Rhodes is better than Cody Garbage. <laughs> WrestleMania was entertaining, I'll say that. Big good for a title shot after being an unwrapped guy is crazy. Hey, listen, you know, you go with chest. Aim high. All right, I'll answer a couple more, then I'm going to jump off. I'm going to start doing some thumbnail drafts for the Max video. And uh, we're going to get on, we're going to get in writing that tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be really fun. I, I really like the idea of doing a Max video. Don't know what I'm going to title it. So if you guys have any ideas for that, I might do take a page out of the fighting businesses book and do opponents before and after fighting Max Holloway. I think that's pretty fitting, uh, you know, before, you know, for, for, for a fight after that Gaethje fight. But. Something about his redemption or flipping the script, breaking the MMA timeline. I might throw that in there. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to that. Oh, you said it? Oh, there you go. Cody Crybaby. Is that... That's a WWE thing, isn't it? I don't know. I bet I, I don't watch WWE at all. I watch WrestleMania because 
it was had a load of hype around it and it was really fucking fun but I, I don't know shit about wrestling except Roman Reigns and all that and Cody Rhodes and all that shit I heard all about that one of the few individuals on earth that is legit with Super Saiyan Power Blueprint you're the ultimate Powatan Glazer holy shit right now Jesus Christ my entire massive brain is incredibly intelligent that's something a dumb person would say your Ask Leo channel on the Discord is locked to the public. Yeah, it's a members thing. But, you, I mean, you listen, this is... The, it doesn't really matter. Like, you guys can... It's, 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 I think it should be available to any... If you're on the, the members thing or the Patreon thing, I don't actually know. But it doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? You guys can fucking talk to me on here or whatever. I don't know. Charles versus Paddy. Make it happen next. Bit of a step up for Paddy. I like the Moicano fight, bro. Juby and Mayor for Max Holloway story. Nah, it's a shit tile. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not there for that. You gotta make it intro. Uh, listen, I don't. I leave that to me. All right, let leave, leave the title economics to me. Glazing's gay word. I'm only speaking facts, though. You, I mean, uh, I don't know. Why did you doubt Alex Epic? I didn't doubt him. I just had Hill winning. I got it wrong. I made a pick. I got it wrong. That's that. That's it. I picked. I picked Holloway. I got that one right. I picked Hill when I got that one wrong. Yeah, shut up. I said please help. I, I yeah, throw your ideas. Doesn't mean I'm taking them. I kind of want to finish Paddy easily. No, I don't think so. I think Paddy beats him purely because I think he's better on the feet. And that's not saying much. Paddy's style leaves him open a lot on the feet, but he's, he's quite erratic. And I think that works in his favor against Mykano. And on the mat, they're very closely matched up. So people thought I was hating for time when I say he'll sleep him in the rematch. I'm only showing respect. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mykano's ranked way higher for Paddy to Bobby. Yeah, Bobby called him out as well, didn't he? That's a shout too. Leave it to me. Leave me alone, man. Hawaiian Hall of Famer. Yeah. I mean, he's all... Yeah, I mean, he's definitely been the Hall of Famer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably going to follow a similar title format to what I already do, so I don't know. But I'm excited. Pride of I, Max Holloway documentary. Yeah. I, I, I don't think it's... That's the conventional title I'd like to use, but it doesn't really do that well, as you'd think, in terms of metrics. Like, having that sort of format of the, the thingy documentary or whatever, it doesn't really work that well, in my, in my experience. I don't know. Paddy lost to Jared Gordon. You think he'll beat money? Styles make fights, man. Styles make fights. <laughs> Everybody knows that. So I think he does, yeah. But anyway, guys, I am going to jump off. I'm going to get some shit done. And then I'm going to have a chill little evening. And going to get on the grind tomorrow. So Monday, I know we're not looking forward to it. But hey, that is... Listen, for me, it, it doesn't feel like a Monday because it feels like a normal day of the week because I can do whatever I fucking want. And that's the beauty of working and doing YouTube. So, And that's all thanks to you guys. I have to say that that's all because of you guys. So, again, we're not at a point where it's fully viable as a career, but we're getting there. And that's all thanks to every bit of you guys' support. So thank you so much. I'll see you again on Tuesday. We're going to be streaming again, talking about whatever. I don't know. Going to hopefully, going to try and think about maybe doing some UFC streams in the future if I can get that working. I don't know how that will operate, if I can actually be able to do that. But, I mean, like, get playing UFC. I don't know. We'll have to see. But either way, it's going to be fucking sick. See you guys on Tuesday. Video on Max Holloway, probably, if I do end up doing it this week. And next week, I don't know about after that. But listen, UFC 300, we got another great century of, of fight cards up ahead. Who knows where we'll be in fucking 2032, it looks like, when we're going to have UFC 400. So hopefully, you guys will still be along for the ride with me. So thank you. See you again on Tuesday. Have a good night, boys. See you later.